Your date of birth holds all the secrets to your soul. Huh? You give us your date of birth, we'll tell you the secrets to love, the secrets to lust, and who the best person for you just might be. I have the answers. Check out Secrets of Birthdays at secretsofbirthdays.com. Hello, my heroes, and welcome to Friday. Thank God it's Friday. And the Rams are sunny and professional today. The moon has come off of Pluto, and it is now putting emotional focus on legacy. This is also control issues. This is the part of our soul that controls things. Basically, it's the part of our soul that makes decisions. Decisions lead to control. So today, you are very emotionally powered and sensitive when it comes to control and when it comes to where you're going or growing with your legacy and career. Basically the mark you leave behind on the planet. So today is a great day therefore to invest. Now tomorrow the moon will still be in Capricorn and on Sunday the moon moves into Aquarius where you'll be more social. So out of the weekend you'll probably be working on Saturday still at something and on Sunday chilling out hopefully out there in your world. Now zip into the sun. At the same time we are wrapping up the sun in Gemini this week and boy oh boy in one week Look at how things have changed. This is sometimes how it works with the planets. Today, the ruling planet is Saturn. Saturn means it's time to make our final decisions. Talking about control, right? Time to decide. And this weekend, what you're deciding is your attitude. In fact, I have a question that I'd like you to answer by Monday. And that is, what is your mantra? My mantra is live, love, be. I say it all the time. I mean it. I live by it. Live in the moment. Love yourself and others and be the brightest soul I can be. What's yours? I think if you can come up with a mantra over the weekend for your life and just say it to yourself, that is, in essence, your attitude. And this is important because attitude, as we've talked about all month long, is the first filter that your intellect passes information through. So by creating the right live, love, be, the right attitude, the right mantra, you are, in fact, setting up a filter that will be doing autopilot as we move on in the rest of the year and the rest of our growing. So this is a good thing, and this leads to manifestations that you want. So over the weekend, today, decision time. Tomorrow, act on your new mantra. Sunday, hold space. Live by your new mantra. All right? So today you decide, tomorrow you act, Sunday you live by your mantra. And when we come back on Monday, Hero, we're going to wrap it up with a final test in Gemini and start talking about cancer vibration. Now, don't forget, if you have ascended to Soul Nirvana, we have content going live this weekend. We're going to continue with this learning. We're going to continue with wrapping up the eclipse. For those of you who do subscribe to Soul Nirvana, I want to thank you so much. That is a great way to give back. For those of you who don't, hey, it's a great way to give back. And you get great content and access to me and access to all of our practitioners and lightworkers under our soul umbrella. So come on down, especially those who are worried about money. You know, if you hold tight on your money, God's going to hold tight on to hers. All right, here, let's wait for the weekend forecast. I will see you on Monday when we prep for cancer. Until then, Ram, live, love, be. So